Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So just a little backstory, I've always wanted to do this video like that, but I keep putting it off due to many excuses like school, no time whatsoever. But since it's quarantine now, I finally have the time, motivation, and energy to film this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know that there are some of y'all that want to help out the environment but don't exactly know how to. Like you know that feeling when you want to help but you don't. I just don't know how to. So yeah, I've also felt that before. So over the months, I've come up with 20 things that you can do. They're not really like big grand wall things that you can do. It's like really small things that I practice. And I hope that you guys could also like, you know, try them out so that we could do our part naman in saving our mother earth. So the first one would be to use Eco Asia. Ecosia? Eco? Eke? Ecosia. Just kidding, it's actually pronounced Ecosia. So what is Ecosia? It is a search engine that is based in Berlin, Germany. And it donates 80% or more of its profits to non-profit organizations that focus on reforestation. So how does it work? So like any other search engine like Google Chrome, Bing, Safari, Akosha. Akosha earns money from clicks on the advertisements that appear above and beside the search results. So basically, they earn from the advertisements that are on their search engine. Another way that they earn is through their online store. And guys, when I checked it out, they have really nice products and I think you should really check them out. I'll link it down below. So with earnings from the advertisements and from their online store, they use this to plant trees all around the world. Specifically, Akosha. Akosha supports over 20 tree planting projects in 15 different countries, which are Peru, Brazil, Madagascar, Nicaragua, Haiti, Colombia, Spain, Morocco, Senegal, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and Indonesia. So as you can see, that's a lot of places, which is why you should download the app and use it as your new search engine. All you need is 45 searches and you'll already plant one tree. So with many plastic bottles just ending up in our landfills or sadly in the ocean, um, I've started doing this practice since 2018 and honestly it's so helpful because one, not only do you help save the planet, but two, you have something to hold all your heavy coins in. So yeah, very practical. And here's a little montage showing my piggy bank, alcansha, plastic bottles. So here's a little montage of me explaining that. Okay, so I probably wore these pajamas for three nights now. And they're still clean, honestly. I think I wear um, each pajama set for about three to four nights or until it feels a little bit dirty. But yeah, it just stays here so that I can reuse it again when I'm about to sleep. In addition to my pajamas, I also re-wear my pambahay clothes. During quarantine, obviously, I don't go out, so I wear pambahay lang. Yeah, these are my outside room clothes. So I have inside room and outside room clothes. And this is what I wear sa baba, um, around the house, except my room. So this is like the dirtier one, but I still keep reusing them for probably two to three days or until it feels dirty again. So obviously by doing that, you'll help save water, which will help save the environment. So when taking out food, they usually give us plastic utensils and plastic straws for our drinks. What you could do is to refuse being given these and instead use your own utensils and straws. So I came across this product before in SM Aura. It's called Sip. 
and this is their burrito and inside is a bunch of different things i'll show the montage So this product is really helpful because when going out, you don't really have to ask for a plastic straw anymore or plastic utensils because you already have your own. So parang bring your own na lang. This way, you can help lessen the use of plastic straws and utensils that also end up in many landfills and in the ocean. But the thing is, you don't actually have to buy these products. You don't have to go out of your way to buy like bamboo utensils and stuff like that because Okay, honestly, my friend that made this article, shout out to you, Julia, and she really enlightened me on the fact that you don't have to buy these because you can actually just bring your own metal utensils from home wherever you go so that, you know, whenever you're given plastic utensils, you can just bring up your own metal utensil from home. Also, you need to realize that plastic straws are one of the most useless products ever made. I'm so sorry, but it's really useless. Like, you have a cup and a straw, like, what you can literally just drink from the cup itself. But, once again, if you really do need a straw, this is where the um, metal straw or bamboo straw comes in. Okay, so for example, I go to Mercury Drug, you know, just a quick buy or whatever. So, I get these two, for example, and the cashier lady asks, Kailan niyo po ba ng plastic bag? Immediately, please say no because if you know you can carry it in one hand or both your hands, you don't need a plastic bag. Easy as that. Reusable bags have actually been a trend for the last few years and that's actually good. But the thing is, whenever you buy reusable bags, you have to make sure that you actually use them and bring them with you every time you go out because you're not really sure when you're going to buy something. So. Make sure to use them and say no to plastic bags. Here's a little montage of my reusable bags that I try my best to bring with me every time I go out. So there. For number seven, for number seven, turn off your aircon or use it seldomly only. Why are aircons bad for the environment? Well, it's because they contain these things called HFCs or hydrofluorocarbons. These chemical compounds are responsible for keeping you cool on hot summer days and they're basically present in refrigerators and yeah, aircons. HFCs represent a small portion of total greenhouse gas emissions only but they do trap thousands of times as much heat in the atmosphere when compared to carbon dioxide so it's really bad for the environment wherein instead of using your aircon it's much better to use your electric fan so that you could save electricity and lessen greenhouse gas emissions number eight simply save water so I'm gonna show a little montage of me explaining how to save water when washing your dishes. So when washing our dishes, we make sure to have a basin and fill it up with water. So this serves as like the place where we do our first rinse. So this is me washing the spoon and fork. There, I rinse it, get rid of the oil and stuff like that. Here I am with the plate, rinsing it. And it doesn't really matter if the water gets dirty because that's just the first rinse. You're still gonna put the soap and then finally rinse it off with like new water from the faucet. So it's all good. In addition to that, when washing your face or taking a shower, make sure to turn off the faucet when you're not actually using it in order to save water. Thank you. 
Sanitary pads and tampons are single-use plastics, which make them bad for the environment. So instead of using those, it's better to use reusable menstrual pads or a menstrual cup in order to lessen your carbon footprint. So itong aking mga reusable menstrual pads, they come in many different nice designs. I'm actually wearing one as we film, yes. And my different sizes for your um, different flows. So if you're not a heavy flower, you can use the regular sized one and if you are a heavy flower you can use this long one so it looks just like a real pad but more stylish and more environmentally friendly behold the mighty menstrual cup oh my god wow so i got this from la union and this is what it looks like so um you can tell it has like measuring stuff. It's for reference, it's this big. This is the heavy flow one. I got the heavy flow one just to be sure. And I will be doing reviews of both this and this in another separate video. Number 10. Let go of him. Char <laughs> Let go of makeup remover wipes and cotton pads. Instead, switch to reusable face cotton pads. So I na researched na naman ako, and I found out that makeup wipes are not only bad for the environment, but they're also bad for your skin. It's bad for the environment because they're made up of non-biodegradable plastic fibers and they're key players in catastrophic sewer buildups. And then, it's bad for the skin naman because it contains many harsh chemicals that I can't even pronounce and these are it. And these chemicals irritate the skin, which is why you should definitely get rid of makeup wipes. On the other hand, using cotton is very bad for the environment and there are many articles supporting this. One of them states that the amount of water needed to produce only one kilogram of cotton is the same amount of water one person would drink for over three years. So that's a lot of water wasted. So the alternative to makeup remover wipes and facial cotton pads are reusable cotton pads. So these are the reusable face cotton pads that I bought from Shopee. It's really nice. Um, it's soft. It feels like the real thing and I recommend it. I will be doing a review on it, however, in the near future. So watch out for that. Cotton buds contain mostly plastic and they're probably gonna end up in the ocean. I once saw this photo before of a seahorse wrapped around a cotton bud and it made me so sad because it just opened my eyes to the reality that our trash has gone so far that it ended up in the ocean already for it to affect so many marine creatures, animals, and it's like, yeah, pretty sad. With that in mind, I wanted to make a switch. So recently, I found um, cotton buds, but they're like bamboo and they're 100% biodegradable. Here's a little montage showing what it looks like. So these are the 100% biodegradable cotton buds that I bought from Shopee as well. I haven't tried them but I'm really excited to and this is a great way to help save the environment. In addition to bamboo cotton buds, it would be really helpful if you made a switch to bamboo toothbrushes. Bamboo toothbrushes have 90% less plastic since it's only the bristles that contain the plastic. So by making the switch to these two, it would be really helpful um, to the environment, to our oceans, and all in all to everyone. The regular laundry detergents that we normally use are actually very bad for the environment and there are many articles and studies proving this. Which is why you should switch to a more environmentally friendly option. There are laundry detergent brands here in the Philippines whose formula isn't as harsh as regular laundry detergents. One of them is Ecos and we're actually using that but recently I found another brand that I now love and it's called Nature to Nurture. Oh shit. <laughs> 
This is the Nature to Nurture laundry detergent that I bought from Lazada. And I haven't tried it yet, but I will be doing a review. I actually bought this for my reusable face cotton pads. These are additional info, and as you can see, there's a lot of benefits, so it definitely is a must-buy. I am personally gay. Just kidding, I am pescatarian. I have been now for over two or three years. I don't really remember. But my life's been good, honestly. Like people ask me if if I get tempted whenever I'm shown meat or chicken or ganon, but I really don't. Like it's it's fine, and I still eat like egg and cheese and stuff. But mostly like like cow's milk. I don't drink that anymore. I um. I don't eat chicken, I don't eat steak, bacon, um, katsu, pork katsu, no. So pork, beef, chicken, I don't eat any of those. Only seafood and vegetables. A study even found that eating a vegan diet is the single best way to reduce your environmental impact on Earth. The researchers at the University of Oxford said that cutting meat and dairy from your diet could reduce your individual carbon footprint by a staggering 73%. So that's a lot, which is why you should make the switch. I am personally such an animal lover, which is why I get so sad when animals get hurt in the process of making these beauty products. And with that, you should really switch to cruelty-free makeup and beauty products. Uh, locally, these are the brands that are vegan or cruelty-free. Internationally, these are the cruelty-free makeup products. So when you buy makeup as much as possible, please make sure that they are cruelty-free so that no animals get hurt. Thanks. Whenever you're making reviewers or not so official documents, it would be really helpful if you print back to back so that you could save paper, save the trees, and all in all, save the environment. Use scratch paper for unofficial documents like reviewers or when you're solving for a math problem or when your professor or like boss allows it. So in our workspace, we do have a place that we put our scratch papers and this is a sample of them. So you can see this document, there's like a lot of stuff but if you go to the back, you can use this side to print another thing or do a math problem there, use like a scratch paper. Just make sure to utilize the space that you still have or a space that you can write on. The two main reasons why you should shop local is because one, when you shop local, there's less carbon emissions because you know, like planes and the shipping, greenhouse gases and through the atmosphere, that type of stuff. And second, so there's this business here in the Philippines that sells pencils with seeds at the back and you could plant the seeds to grow your own vegetables. And you know, it's a good business plus they help out the environment. So businesses like these are really good and you should really buy from them. I will put the link of an article that expands on this down below. But basically, because palm trees grow in tropical rainforests, there has been widespread clearing of forests in order to make way for plantations. And what blew me away is the fact that, according to research, an equivalent of 300 football fields are being destroyed every hour. And the thing is, um, in the coming years, palm oil will be more demanded, which is probably why we should try to stay away from palm oil so that the demand would go low and, you know, deforestation wouldn't occur anymore for them to produce palm oil. 
Number 19. So bokashi is a type of composting and it is a process that converts food waste and similar organic matter into a soil amendment which adds nutrients and improves soil texture. Actually, my mom was the one who introduced me to bokashi because she's she a plantist. So, you know, she knows all about composting and stuff like that. And it's such a nice practice to do at home because not only will it help your plants if you're a plantist, but it'll also help the environment. With that, these are also the benefits of composting. Which is why you should probably give it a try. So if it's not already obvious, climate justice is my life advocacy, one of them. And you could do that too by doing the following. One, you could join orgs, projects, or events that help out the environment. Two, you could read up on the current state of our planet. You can um, read some articles, inform yourself basically of what you can do to help out the environment. And three, you could remind yourself of the greener option. <laughs> yeah, boy. Like for example, me, I put up this chalkboard on my wall showing like what I need to bring whenever I go out, which is my bayong, my extra reusable bag, my separito, you know, just in case it comes in handy. And basically, in your day to day lives, when you're given the chance to choose, always pick the greener option. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much if you've made it till the end. I really appreciate it because I put so much effort into this video because I'm so passionate about this. And yeah, I really hope you guys take all of these ways into consideration for us to help out Mother Earth. And with that, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Damn. Bye! Let's go to LA if you feel it